Good morning, everyone. I'm here today on Friday, October 2nd, to do the daily reading for all of the signs. Um, of course, everyone's been up and, and hearing the, um, the news about Donald Trump and Melania. And on both sides of the field, whether you're a fan or you're not a fan, I think we all um, want to wish his family and his friends and all those surrounding him um, a speedy recovery and a safe recovery. And I think that's important that we gather as a nation at this point. Um, no matter what our political beliefs are. So um, I hope that we're able to do that. I hope that's the energy that we can put out there today is, is of love and kindness, um, even if we don't um, always agree, okay? Um, I am going to do the reading, and we'll get started. I am going to um, first pull a few collective cards from the Wisdom Oracle, kind of collectively for uh, everybody overall, what's happening to the energy in the economy. Yesterday was the full moon. Uh, not the energy in the economy, energy in the sky, I'm sorry. Um, yesterday was the full moon, and I think um, the full moon in Aries, all about manifesting, all about letting go of, not long, of what no longer serves us, bringing in the good, manifesting the good, and um, hopefully you all put out uh, you know, all your good wishes and intentions. It's always good for about three days, so today is still a day you can put out your, your manifesting and your really good thoughts and vibrations. And um, please stay till the end of the video. At the end of every video, I always do five minutes to 10 minutes of healing Reiki energy to help open your chakras and help build your immune system. Um, and I think today's wake up call is, is a, a really good um, reminder to continue to stay on top of that, continue to stay on top of your immune system. Um, down below, you'll see the thumbs up button. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments and I'll be happy to get back to you and answer them. Um, subscribe and hit the notification button. The notification button will allow you to hear when I come on live, and I do often come on live. Um, I probably will around five today to, to pull some cards, talk to some people that are on, um, see if there's anyone that has questions about what's happening out there, um, see if I can allay any fears and um, comfort. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Comfort anyone that that needs a little bit of. Um, Words of comfort, words of feeling that um, they're together as part of a, a part of the collective, and I think that's important in this time when we're, everything is kind of shifting around us and everything is so unknown. So I, um, hitting that notification button will allow you to know when it is I do come on. It will send you a, um, a text or a notification that I'm coming on live, and you can certainly come back to the channel and, and join in. Um, in joining the live reading and also on Sundays I do a full mediumship live reading um, usually around midday I like to say around 11 or so usually between 11 and 12 and I do t bring through messages of love from uh, anyone who's here actually part of it and anyone who shared the video to be able to have messages of love brought through for their loved ones um, if you would like a real um, separate reading, a private reading, if you go to my website down below, it's listed as northernlights.one. You can definitely um, find, get information on doing a live reading uh, or, or a real reading, a private reading with me. I can't seem to spit out the words. My phone number is there listed as well. And um, down below that is a space uh, for PayPal where you can go and um, give donations of love if you so choose to help the channel sustain itself. So I'm very grateful for those of you that have already donated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll continue to be here every day. I have put up half of the monthly October readings and this afternoon I'll be putting up the other half, the other six signs. Um, the weekly signs have been up for this week and I'll be starting on those for next week over the weekend. And, of course, we have the daily readings, which I'm going to do now. Okay? So I've shuffled these well. I'm going to put out three cards for the collective. And I don't read these upside down. And the three cards I got is go the distance. So this is a card today that's all about trying to let things get in your way, is what I'm hearing. It's a beautiful card. I love this deck. Card number 47, which comes out to an 11, which is a master number. So the angels are definitely on our side today. Um, going towards the finish line go the distance here right so um don't try not to let things get in our way i think there's a lot of sadness in the air i think no matter where you stand like i said politically i think we are all feeling a little deflated today and unsure what's going to happen so this is saying you know stand your ground stand your hold 
um, know that we'll be able to go the distance, okay? The next card I have is a fork in the road. So this is about a decision. So some of you out there in the collective will be making a decision. If you notice, he's standing and there's arrows pointing in different directions. Um, so it, it might be time for you to make a decision, whether this be about um, your own health. Maybe this is making a decision to um, finally do that exercise program you wanted to do or something like that. It could also be a fork in the road about a decision about work or about a relationship. Making a decision is what I hear is happening today. So you may be starting the contemplative process of it or you may actually be making the decision today. So the, again, this is for the collective. We've got the last card that comes is time to go. So this kind of goes along with a fork in the road. So maybe you've already made the decision. This is a four and a five, which adds up to a nine. The end of the the end of the road is so so to speak with regards to whatever you're thinking about. So whether you're thinking about, like I said, moving on in career, moving on in a relationship, um, this card often comes up with the full moon because it, we're letting go of things that no longer service or no longer make us happy or work with our life plan, right, and our purpose. And we bring in, we manifest new things. So this card is definitely a, um, a card that shows up quite often at the full moon. So time to let go of things that no longer serve you, and wherever it is. Okay? So let's do the individual signs using the Lightseer's deck by Chris Ann today. Um, I love this card deck. It really speaks to me. I love the pictures. I have a strong, energetic, and psychic connection to it. That was a terrible shuffle. Um, I've already shuffled these ahead of time and I've certainly cleansed the energy, but I want to make sure I shuffle them in front of you. I'm going to put this down a little bit so you'll get to see the cards, okay? So we're going to start with the air sign. We're going to start with Aquarius and then Libra and then Gemini. We'll see what we pull. The card I get for Aquarius is the Seven of Swords. So the swords in this deck often represent are uh, represented by the crows, okay? And this crow is certainly, this is about speaking your truth. This is about, swords are often about telling the truth, the truth coming to the surface, any unhidden things that we don't know about is coming to the surface. Um, and I think it's important that we are aware of... Um, of this happening. He's down on his knees in the background. He has his hood on. He's not going to be noticed by anyone. But this, the seven is often confusion also, right? Delusion, confusion. Look at all the feathers that are flying, right? These, these crows are letting go of things. So this, for Aquarius, this may be a rather tough day for you. This may be a, a day of getting truths that you don't like to hear. It may be a day of somebody bringing forward some messages that you're not ready to accept or, or, um, or deal with at this point. But, um, you know, try to try to make it through the day. The other cards look really good about making a decision and maybe moving on. Maybe this is a message about um, a job um, that you didn't receive. Maybe this is a message about an interview that's not going to take place at this point. Um, whatever it is, I feel like it's a, um, a message of hope. Okay, so hold on to that, Aquarius. Libra, the card I get for you is the Eight of Swords. Interesting. So the Eight of Swords in the regular Rider Waite deck is the woman who's bound. She has on a blindfold and her, her um, bindings around her or the ties that bind her are very loose. She can get out of them, right? Um, and this person knows that she's there. The crows are around her, the truth that's there. But this card often makes me know that the Eight of Swords, you're holding yourself back for some reason, Libra. You're not moving forward and there's some reason you're not, but it's in your hands. So if you can release the ties because they're loose and take off the blindfold and move forward, it would be good if you're really stuck in kind of this, this mode or this mood today where you're not ready to move forward, that's fine too. That'll probably change tomorrow. But it is time to let go of the things that no longer serve you, right? And maybe you're struggling with letting go of some things that that um, have been with you for a long time or people that have been with you for a long time in your life. Um, it's, it's not a bad health card. It has nothing to do with that. It's strictly holding you back from uh, achieving the goals you want to achieve today. Okay, Libra? So hang in there with that. Gemini, let's see what you get. The Ace of Swords. A lot of swords coming up today. A lot of truth, right, being told. There's a lot in the environment with the full moon um, that's coming out. And this is a new beginning. Um, Gemini. So maybe you've already gone through this letting go process and manifesting process with the full moon, right? Maybe this is starting over and the stairway starts right behind her and she just, she just has to open her eyes and take her first step. And, um, and the truth is out there and she needs to accept it and then she will open her eyes and move forward is what I'm hearing. So Gemini, that's the card for you today. Um, psychically, I'm hearing Gemini, you may hear some news that 
doesn't make you um, happy is what I'm hearing. So I, I'm not sure what the news is, but I don't think it's something, it's not definitely not towerish. It's not earth shattering. I don't hear it's anything um, grave or puts anyone in danger, but it's something that maybe makes you a little unhappy. So um, all the swords are truth. So sometimes things come to the surface that um, we don't expect to come to the surface. And that's what I'm hearing for you for all the air signs this morning. Obviously you all had um, swords. We move to earth signs now and Capricorn. You know what? I, I'm getting so many swords. Oh, no, there's others. Okay. So earth signs, Capricorn is the five of swords. This card is often the card of um, despair and worry and concern. Um, again, the crows are sitting right next to him and he has his hand on his head. He, maybe you're not feeling well today and maybe that worries you a little bit. Um, maybe someone else that that is not feeling well and you're concerned about them but the five is often the card of um it can be of loss loss of a job loss of finances but i really want you to know that you can move forward out of this it's all how you react to things right this is general energy around us so don't even though it's a card of it could be a dis card of despair or loss don't feel that this is the end all be all okay i don't see anyone dying i don't see any ill health i don't see anything like that i just feel like this is a card of truth the truth you don't want to hear truth you will have to deal with today okay virgo seven of cups in reverse seven of cups is the illusion and delusion card right when it's held upright this is what the card looks like the waters are very calm but he is looking he can't make a decision can he so upside down it's it's even worse if you will as far as not being able to make a decision feeling you're in limbo feeling like you're stuck feeling like you can't move forward um, the Pentacles are about money so maybe you're concerned something with your money um, maybe you're concerned about the stock market maybe you're concerned about something um, having to do with your money in your bank or money you have to lend out to people that you haven't received back but it's illusion and delusion so pay attention um, to the overall uh, messages today and I think this is the energy in the air why we're getting such heavy cards today um, I really think it's the energy of, of everything that's happened in the last 24 hours I think it's Mars um, still retrograde in Aries, which is the uh, a very heavy energy. We have Saturn that just came out um, and went direct and is squaring Mars um, a couple of days ago. We still feel that energy. Last night's full moon in Aries. We're coming up on Mercury retrograde. October is a very, very heavy month filled with a lot of astrological um, planets that are kind of causing tough direction and tough angles if you will for all of us and i think that's what we're feeling so taurus let's see the card you have is the six of pentacles okay so you're counting money today also the six um quite often is moving away from um you're in the middle of the pentacles which is building building money building abundance building um financial security it could be about building your health making a decision to move forward with better health it could be about building um, a more loving relationship um, it's, it's anything building with uh, the Six of Pentacles, okay? But here he's definitely counting his money, isn't he? He's got his hand on it. He's seeing what he's got, going over everything financially, maybe trying to make a decision, um, Taurus. I mean, um, yeah, Taurus, about going, what direction you're going to go in with your finances. Do you take your money out? Do you leave it in? Do you, are you watching things closely to see what happens? Um, I think a lot of people are feeling that way today. I don't feel that you're alone, but some of you um, are more cautious and about this. Um, this could also be the building of um, more money and more funds if they pass a, a resolute bill today, if they pass a bill that um, allows for unemployment to resume, um, the extra unemployment money or extra stimulus bill. You could be just keeping an eye on things like that. That's what the Six of Pentacles could mean. Okay, Taurus? Cancer, I have the Six of Cups in reverse. Six is again, here you are reminiscing. Um, it's in reverse, this is a little boy with all the cups, he has this tiny little puppy here and then he's grown into a grown man with his dog. So this cup is definitely, when it's standing up, it's about reminiscing and positive changes and everything's gonna be fine. And again, the energy is just kind of up in the air and I feel like this it's this way for many, many cards. Um, the six is movement, it's direction, right? So um, are you moving in a direction that makes you feel comfortable? Cups are about emotion. So do you feel comfortable with the direction you're moving in? Maybe taking a look at it is the answer. Um, and I'm very drawn all of a sudden to the bottom of this deck, um, which is the moon card, which is interesting. So I am, even though I'm done with earth signs, 
um, I mean, that's the first of the water signs, Cancer. I, I really feel like um, I'm drawn to the moon sign, which is um, typical of, of Cancer. And it's, it's unknown things. It's things that are hidden. Are we hearing the truth about everything right now? Um, that's a really good question. We've gotten so many swords, um, and that's the energy around everybody. But are we really hearing everything we need to hear at this point, at this moment, okay? So let's see. Scorpio, let's see what card you get. Wow, a lot of heavy energy today. The two of swords. Again, truth, right? The the swords are the, uh, are the crows in this picture, and, and she's kind of being, they're coming at her, making her look at the truth. Things she doesn't want to look at. She has her hands up. She doesn't want to look at it. She has a blindfold over her eyes, but things are coming her way that maybe it's decisions, maybe it's trying to make some um, positive decisions about because everything that's going on in the world. Um, but it is the truth and it is coming forward and it's something you need to take your blindfold off and take a look at today. Okay. Again, these are just energies that I'm bringing up in these cards. You always have free will. You always have the power to, to go your own way and be happy and to have everything go the way you want it to. You always choose your own path. Please be very clear about that. These are just the energies that are out there astrologically because of everything that's happening in the environment. And it's, it's very important um, that you know you can change that at any time. Okay? Pisces, I have the five of pentacles in reverse. Okay, the five, again, not happy, right? She looks miserable. But I feel like this is at her own hands. Pentacles is building. She's building the energy. But look, there's a key here and there's a keyhole. So she just needs to kind of get out of her own way, stand up, open the door, see what's beyond it. Um, but she's stuck right now. Uh, it could be someone that's depressed in your life. It could be you that is feeling very depressed. It could be just the confusion of everything going on energy-wise in the atmosphere. Pretty much every single card has gotten very heavy energy today. And, and again, it could be uh, astrologically what's happening. And it could also be, um, you know, just what's out there, what we're being told. Are we being told everything? Pentacles is usually about money, okay? It's about abundance. So maybe she's concerned about either finances or abundance in love, abundance in um, health. Um, maybe she's concerned about somebody else's health. I don't feel it, like it's their own um, Pisces, okay? But um, remember, you can turn this around, how you react and how you act today. It's for you have free will. All these heavy cards. Um, I have Aries, fire sign, beautiful card. So in the midst of all this is the Ten of Pentacles, Aries, for you. A happy family, happy life, plenty of money, abundance in health, wealth, finances, um, love, it's, it's a beautiful card. It's the pinnacle of the pentacles. You've built and you've built and you've worked very hard and, and today you're getting there. Today is a really nice day for you. So even though we have so much um, unknown and, and truth that's coming out into the environment, I think it's important you know that today is a day that you can also, and maybe you're a perfect example for everyone. So everything that is come up and has been um, kind of heavy, heavy energy, this is you coming out and saying, gee, the heavy energy is there, but I'm not going to react to that heavy energy, right? I'm going to use my free will and I'm going to focus on the things that mean the most to me, which is happy, happy marriage, happy family. Um, I have plenty of money to survive. I have plenty of money um, that's around me. I'm not concerned about that. These are all really positive, positive things. So maybe areas you're taking, taking a turn here for people to, to look at. Lovely. The Queen of, of Pentacles for Leo. Um, Leo is a, the card of strength, right? The sign of strength. And she's sitting in her power. Um, I feel like swords and pentacles are all we've really gotten today, which is interesting. And pentacles, again, is the abundance. The queen, she's si sitting nicely. She knows all her ducks are in a row. She's just waiting for everything to kind of calm down around her. She's not making any movement. She has. She's just kind of self-meditating and know that she's fine. Her abundance in life, her abundance in money, health, wealth, love, destiny, everything is fine. She's surrounded by earth. She's wearing very down-to-earth cover colors. Um, she's sprouting new growth from her um, from her turban or her hat that's on her head, her scarf that's woven, whatever you would like to call it. Um, but it's a, it's a positive card, right? The Queen of Pentacles is a positive direction to go in. And finally, Sagittarius, we've got the Strength card. It's in reverse. So in when you're standing this card straight up, 
You've got the strength card, half lion, half female, with the lamb by her side. So on the outside, you may be tough, and you may be feeling, gee, this is a lot for the country to go through. This is a lot for me to go through personally. But you also have that soft, mushy center. That's what the lamb represent. You see the heart chakra that's open with the, the pendant around her neck. In reverse, it simply means that I think you're questioning things today, like the rest of the world, really. I think we're all out there questioning everything today. Um, you know, it's a fork in the road. Which direction is the country? you're going to go in which is the which direction are we all going to go in um and i think how you react and how you exert your free will today is going to be very very important so remember to hold on to that i mean i feel like this was a heavy reading for most signs um but that doesn't mean even though it was a heavy reading it doesn't mean that you can't use your own free will and you can't choose to um make it a better day right so the energy around us no matter where we are astrologically is heavy and that came out very clearly in the cards and that may be the first thing that hits us in the morning is like hits us right in the face that we hear this news and it's like oh my gosh what's going to happen and and that's kind of where we are and then we get back to reality and, and we put everything in perspective and how how it affects you and everyone's kind of taking a look at themselves right now which is what should be happening right how you react how you respond your own free will so those things are very important to do today and i and i think um, everyone will be doing that and taking a very good look. So I know the energy is heavy. Hang in there. Tomorrow will be a better day. I will be putting up the last six of the monthly, the month of October readings for today. Six of them are posted. I probably will be coming on this evening live around 5 p.m. Please share this channel out. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, I know you might not have liked the energies, but maybe it, it helped you kind of see overall where everyone is. Um, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button. Write me comments of things you'd like to hear me discuss and talk about, and I'm happy to always respond to every single comment. And um, again, for a private reading, it's listed below on my website, northernlights.one, and you can feel free to donate to the channel under Donations of Love. So let's start with a little bit of Reiki healing. Um, I always like to end each session with some Reiki healing. I feel excuse me, I have the hiccups. I feel like it's very important for all of us um, to feel that love and to feel that Reiki healing. So let's go right to doing that. Surround yourself in some white light energy. Okay. And when you surround yourself in this white light energy, picture it coming in from your, your crown chakra, filling your head, your neck, your arms, your chest going through your abdomen and your legs and your whole body so you have all this white light beautiful energy that's around you so let me send you some reiki healing and know that we're aligning your chakras when we do this we're keeping them in tune with each other and building your immune system allowing you to speak freely speak your mind speak your truth and so many cards today with the swords were about speaking your truth so let's send some healing quietly and um i'll talk after So sending healing to the first family, everyone who has been affected in the country, and sending healing energy and light to everyone around the world as a collective as well.
energy in the world. Let's make it a good day. Turn these energies around and be positive, right? Manifest the positivity we want to be in our life today. And I hope you'll join me later. I will come live probably around 5. Hit the thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up for the video. Please share with all your friends. And um, hit the notification button so you know when I come live. Anyone who would like a private healing, Reiki healing through Zoom, or you would like a private reading with me, you can go down below to my website and um, I will connect with you. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day everyone. We'll talk later.